So a frequently asked question about the $20 Strength Club is, is cardio included? Um, the answer is no, it's not included yet, but we can make recommendations to you um, based on your age, your gender, um, you know, chronic disease levels and stuff like that. Um, this is all found on the CSEP website for, at least for the Canadian guidelines. And what they currently recommend for the average person is 150 minutes of moderate to vigorous um, intensity exercise for the cardiovascular side. So if you fit that, um, that recommendation in with your current training program for the $20 Strength Club, that means that you should do you know, about 50 minutes of moderate to vigorous workouts um, on top of the $20 Strength Club. So that could mean you know, going on a two hour hike on the weekend and then going for another 30 to 50 minute kind of run during the week. And then you'll be getting more than the allotted amount of exercise because um, the strength training recommendations are somewhere in that one to three uh, days per week. So um, if you need any more recommendations, I'm happy to help. What equipment do I need is another common question we get on the $20 Strength Club. So again, for the no equipment based Strength Club, um, we assume you have nothing. For the regular $20 Strength Club, we assume that you have um, access to a barbell, plates to load onto the barbell, assorted dumbbells, um, a barbell rack, so that you can, for example, load the bar up and squat. We assume you have a pull-up bar, an adjustable bench, mini bands, uh, long bands, and an exercise ball. But the mini bands and long bands can also be subbed out for a cable rack. So we also get asked a lot, will this program help with weight loss? Or will this program help with body recomposition for people that want to see less body fat on their body? Um, and the answer is yes, it is definitely going to help with body recomposition. It could even help in weight loss if you also uh, follow a good nutrition program or um, specifically count your calories, that's probably the biggest one. Um, but it can improve your body composition because when you lift weights frequently, you're going to gain some muscle mass or density. And even though, you know, you like for females, we, we wanna say um, like they typically don't wanna get bulky or whatever, um, adding a little bit of muscle mass combined with that little bit of weight loss will help um, define the muscles, decrease the body fat on top, and rev up your metabolism. So if you're eating you know, 1,200, 1,500 calories before strength training um, per day and not really seeing any good body composition changes, um, you'll probably feel hungry, hungrier uh, when you start strength training. And if you kind of control the amount of calories overall and keep tracking that, combined with the metabolism rev up that you'll get from training. Um, and if you eat enough protein, you'll see some body composition changes. So how many days a week is the $20 Strength Club? So we do three days per week training and sometimes we split the workouts differently. So sometimes we'll have an upper body day, a lower body day, a glute day, something like that. And other programs, we tend to split them. So we might just do an upper lower split day, a back and buys day, split day, a bodybuilder kind of style, a glute and core day. Um, but more frequently, we tend to do three full body days. So you're probably wondering, what does it mean when I see in my workout A, B, C, or A, A, B, B, C, C, C? Um, this means that you're gonna structure that lift in supersets. So if you see two A's, you'll click on the first A, if it's a squat that says, you know, three sets of 10, you'll do 10 squats, 10 reps, um, at the reps and reserve prescribed. Then you'll go to the second A and you'll, you'll perform that exercise for the prescribed reps. I'm assuming it's three by 10 as well. And then that second exercise will typically show a rest period, maybe it's 60 seconds, two minutes. Um, when that rest period is up, you'll go back to the first A and you'll repeat that sequence until all three sets are done. Um, following the first superset, you'll go to the second superset, so all the Bs finish in the same way, Cs finish in the same way. If you don't have enough time to complete your whole workout, we recommend that you just stop when the time's up, try to fit in as much exercise as you can during that time while being true to the rest periods and the reps and the sets, and that will be the most effective use of your time. And then over time, when you get used to the movements, you don't have to check the videos as much because you'll know the motion a lot better and you can be a little bit more efficient when you're in the gym. Another tip is um, sometimes at certain gyms, especially during the pandemic when I'm filming this, this uh, video, 
Sometimes um, there's, you know, it's difficult to pair together two superset seven exercises that are on opposite sides of the gym. So if you find that your squat exercise is really far away from the next exercise that you're supposed to go back and forth, or the equipment is really uh, busy, taken up, and you can't find the right equipment um, because it's being used, you can also just perform the whole workout as a non supersetted workout. So you can just do all of the A, like the A1 from start to finish, three sets of 10, um, with a little bit of rest in between. Then you can do A2 as a B, and you can just sit at that exercise or sit at that station and finish it till it's complete. Cause then that way you're able to slowly complete your whole workout without bouncing around the whole gym and without um, having to wait for equipment. Cause you can always jump to like a C and then back to an E, back to a B. Um, so that you get all the total work in, but a little bit more efficiently. Just a reminder that consistency is key. So if you miss a workout um, on one of the days of your week and you click on your calendar icon and you see, you know, green on Monday because you completed it, check. You know, green on Wednesday because you completed it, check. But your Friday was red. You missed your workout and you were busy all weekend. Now it's Monday again. Um, this this means that you should probably go back to the red workout and do all of the workouts in order um, that they're prescribed so that you know you're able to now on the monday when you're able to work out again do friday's workout on wednesday follow the next red dot on your calendar and continue on that um, stream another possible way to modify the 20 dollar strength club is if you know that you can only do two days of working out per week but the program is three days, um, you can always just cut out one of the days completely. So every single time a program came out, you could choose to nix all the Wednesdays and just do Mondays and Fridays. Or you could choose to nix the Mondays and just always do the Wednesdays and Fridays. But if possible, and you know you're able to get three days of working out a week, I would say try to always just follow the red dots if you miss a day. Lastly, what do tempos mean? So sometimes you'll see on your workout like two, one, 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 three, one, X, one, etc. So this means um, it's an indication of, you know, how slow or fast you should be lifting in the various ranges of your, of your strength training or of that exercise. And so on a squat, for example, the first letter of your tempo, if it's two, um, it's the lowering phase. And on the squat, it means that you would take two seconds to descend down to the squat. Um, you would, if the tempo, I guess, was two, one, 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 you would go two seconds down, you would hold your squat at the bottom for one second, you would come up in one second, and you would hold at the top for one second. Um, if it was three, one, X, one for the squat, we would do three seconds down, one second hold, X just means explode back up, and then you'd spend one second pausing at the top. Now this is important because we want you to still control your lifts and we want you to have an appropriate amount of time under tension so that you get a good adaptation from the strength training. Um, but also it's important to keep that brain body connection of you know intention in your lifting um, and feeling what you're supposed to be feeling. We really hope that you enjoyed the $20 Strength Club and if you have any questions, any issues, or if you wanna tell us about your, your program and how it's going for you, feel free to reach out. You can find us on the app or you can email me. It's at info at vitalstrengthphysiology.com. Thanks.